Welcome back everyone. Today I'm sharing with you one of my favorite chicken crockpot meals. I don't know about where you guys are, but this past week has been frigid and chilly and super winter weather. So we made a white chicken chili that I have made for quite a few years. I've added my own few spins to it. It is super delicious, super flavorful, and super easy to put together. So let me show you the ingredients and show you how quick and easy it is to put together. And then at the end, I'll show you what I like to serve this with. So these are the ingredients. You need chicken broth, a can of corn. If you use fire roasted corn, that is also delicious. Pinto beans, light red kidney beans. You can also swap out um, any other type of white bean. This is just what I have on hand. I have a Herdez green salsa or a um, salsa verde. This is a really good one. I have taco seasoning. Um, this is the Fiesta Ranch Dip. You can use this one or you can use regular ranch dip. I'm gonna use half the packet. And then I just have three large chicken breasts. So let's put this together. To get started, you wanna place your chicken breasts in the bottom of your crock pot. Another great way to cut some time is to use crock pot liners. I just didn't have any on hand this day. Then you wanna add in your beans. And like I said, you can use whatever two types of beans that you want. I always use Pinto and then I switch up the other kind. You wanna add a can of corn. And then we're gonna add two to three cups of chicken broth. I like to start with two and then once I have shredded the chicken, sometimes I'll add in another cup. Then it's time for the seasoning. So this is just a homemade taco seasoning that I have and I use a tablespoon and a half. You can use a taco seasoning packet or whatever combination of taco spices that you like. And you can use regular ranch dip mix. We found this Fiesta Ranch and it has such a awesome flavor. So if you can find it, I bought this at Walmart, definitely give it a try. So I add about half the packet in and that adds an incredible amount of flavor to this chili. And then last we're going to add half a cup of salsa verde. And salsa verde is not spicy, it just has a really great tang to it and it adds a lot to the overall flavor of this. So you want to pour that in and then give it a little bit of a stir, it's not even necessary cover it up and we're gonna cook this on low for six to eight hours after running errands and coming home to a house that smelled so good it's time to shred the chicken and I'm gonna show you a super easy way I've shown this before on my channel and I've told you I will never shred chicken any other way so get somewhat of a high-sided glass or plastic bowl and then you just want to take your chicken breast and I like to do one at a time Place it in the bottom of your bowl and then get your hand mixer. Yes, your hand mixer. You will be amazed at how fast this shreds this chicken. And just like that, under a minute, you have shredded chicken. So I toss the shredded chicken back in the chili, and then I will do another chicken breast. And like I put in the caption, I only needed two chicken breasts. These were really large, so it depends on how much chicken you want in your chili and how large your chicken pieces are. So I actually shredded up all three of them but I kept one aside and we used it for chicken salad for lunch for the week. I didn't show it here but I did add just about a cup of chicken broth just to kind of pull this all together 
Um, it's totally personal preference. If you like a really thick chili, then I would not add the extra chicken broth, um, but you can definitely tailor it to your preferences. This is one of my favorite chilies to make because it's super flavorful, it is very easy, and my whole family loves it. So I served it with sour cream, fresh cilantro, lime slices, and then we shredded up some sharp cheddar cheese. So we just served it up in simple bowls and added our toppings, and that was what we had for dinner this night. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, I would love for you to hit that red subscribe button and join our When With Jen YouTube fam. We have lots of fun here. I share lots of recipes, cleaning motivation, and all things motherhood. Let me know if you guys try this one, and hopefully we'll see you in the next one.